three hours away by plane from Sydney Harbour and a world away from the boats and waterfronts, farming communities like Burke are living at the sharp end of global warming. Now to 2WEB's weather forecast for Burke, New South Wales. To all our farmers listening, unfortunately there is no rain in the forecast this week. Six years without significant rain, times must be tough, but hang in there, rain has to come soon. The Thompsons have been farmers for generations. They have 2,000 acres of cotton that relies on water to grow. Unfortunately, they have been stuck in the worst drought in living memory and haven't been able to grow anything for six years. Normally at this time of year the crop would be up about two feet high, just almost starting to be a solid mass of green. You know, you'd, you'd start, it's almost to the stage where you'd start to struggle to see up and down the rows. And the situation gets worse when you get down the river. Well, we're in the bed of the mighty Darling River, which is the longest river system in Australia. As you can see, it's bone dry. To my left here is uh, our river pumps, which is what we use to extract water out of this river um, for irrigation. Only 14 months ago, this arid field was a lake. The Thompsons remember the good times playing in the water. We've got a jet ski and the kids all can ski and wakeboards and knee boards. It's really good when there's water here. You get sick of seeing the, um, the dirt and the dust and the beautiful blue skies. <laughs> the worst case scenario is that you know, the drought continues on for a couple of years and, uh, and the equity that we have in our farm um, diminishes back to, to not much or to nothing, then I guess it's a forced sale. Oh, I'd be devastated. Yeah, I'd be, yeah, I'd be totally devastated. Uh, we started with nothing when we came here. <laughs> To have a drought that's uh, now, I think, classified as a one in 200 year drought um, sort of makes me think that there's probably something else going on, you know, and I guess the issue of global warming, yeah, you know, probably has some merit. 